Okay, we're at the Cock Tower where we're checking the solstice this time again. And uh, we've got our compass today showing the direction of the. Get away from the lamppost. And the direction of the Cock Tower is actually supposed to be facing north. Our compass says it's slightly off north, but according to Google Earth, it's north. The time, on internet time, would be about 12.15. The clock says it's 4 minutes past 12. Okay, and we'll just take another shot. And according to my calculations, according to my calculations, today should be the real solstice. So if we have a look here, I've got the newspaper, the local newspaper, which shows it's the 19th of June. And I've got another newspaper here uh, with a date on it. It also shows it being the 19th of June. Okay, so these are pictures on these newspapers. The elections. Okay, <laughs> so we'll just take another shot. And what we're really after is the time at about 12.25, which is a real high noon. At 12.25 it'll be high noon. And if we're lucky, we'll actually be able to see the sun. At the moment the sun's a little bit behind some cloud, but we've got some clear sky coming, I, I hope, up about here. It should give us a good shadow to compare to the previous observations we've made over the last few days, or over the last week actually. Um, we've only got several days over the last week that are actually any really good, simply because we had so much cloud and one day it actually was raining. So, uh, but we do have consistent shortening shadows which would suggest that we're getting closer and closer to the solstice. Whether today is actually the solstice, well I think it is, but um, I have to wait until tomorrow's observation and it proves that it is. But today is my estimation of the solstice, so this is why I've got the, the compass ready, I've got the, the clock set up, everything. Hopefully going to have good, uh, bright sunshine and get a good reading on the, on the shadow lengths. Okay, so I'll switch it off for the moment and I'll switch it back on at about the time we need to make our readings. Okay, so now it's about the time that we want to take our photos. The sun's not perfect, but it, this is to keep our sequence going. We'll take the photo now. Look at several photos. Okay, we've got a bit of cloud that's going to come over very shortly, so we've got to get all the the best photo we can, so we can observe that shadow length. Actually at the moment, I'll just make a quick update, we've got full sunshine, it doesn't really get much better than this, so depending upon how things go tomorrow with the cloud, uh, we might be using these photos, because this is as bright as the sun's going to get. There's blue sky up above, as I'll show you. Nothing in front of the sun at all. Okay, as I was saying earlier, this is uh, June 19, 2554, which is a Buddhist date. We're in Thailand, Chiang Mai. We're south of the Tropic of Cancer. We're observing as a real internet time. We're just a few, about 10 minutes after high noon. And we've got some good shadows to compare to. Okay, we're making observations of the summer solstice, which by my estimations is actually on June 19, not June 21. But we'll see. Okay, we keep on going until we've proved it one way or the other. This is all to uh, confirm. My observations back in December, where I found that the solstice actually occurred at least 24 hours too early. And of course then you had the Greenland phenomenon where the, the sunrise came up too early. It was supposed to be on the first sunrise for the year, it should have been on June thir uh, January 13, but in fact it occurred on January 11, so it's 48 hours too early. So here we are. 48 hours before the official solstice to see if this is the real solstice. And if it is, of course, that means we're two degrees ahead 
in the procession cycle, which means we're 144 years ahead of where we should be, um, pretty much well into the age of Aquarius. And you've got to now wonder why is the Earth tilting in the wrong direction by two degrees?